been so long since I made a video, I actually feel a little bit nervous. But anyway, I watched a video today by the anti-terrorist called Seeing the Light. Well, the anti-terrorist on Seeing the Light. And he brought up the issue of uh, countries all over the world and governments um, completely doing away with the old tried and true filament light bulb. Just a standard old light bulb. This just so happens to be a 40 watt light bulb like he mentioned in the video. Um, but the, the answer to the question is there was nothing wrong with these. Um, absolutely nothing wrong. They weren't harmful unless you know they broke and you got cut on a piece of glass. You know which is you know an everyday danger anyway. Um, but they're wanting everyone to do away with these because of um, this whole going green thing and they're wanting everybody to switch over to these. Um, this is equivalent to about I would say a, a hundred watt light bulb and it is let's see 26 watts. <clears throat> Problem is you can see here it says HG. Um, this means that this thing is filled with mercury. They have um, very strict guidelines as how you're supposed to dispose of these if there's something wrong with them. Um, anyways, this is a big one. They come in all different sizes. They've got this one. They've got this one. You can see um, comparing them, they're one's about a third the size of the other. Um, Let's see, that's another big one. Anyways, um, I, I'm making this video because I had the same thought that anti-terrorists had, only I did it about a year ago, and we ended up with a box. I don't know if you can see that. Um, absolutely full of all these light bulbs. We got rid of them because um, contrary to what we're being told in the media, these light bulbs are not good for us. They have absolutely nothing to do with going green. Um, other than they, they cost less to operate. Um, this one being comparative to a 100 watt light bulb uh, only uses 26 watts. Um, the smaller ones here, um, let's see, this one is 13 watts. As anti-terrorists mentioned in the video, uh, there's very strict regulations on how to dispose of these with several layers of plastic and bound and and the plastic does absolutely nothing to stop the mercury from escaping into the atmosphere and good luck if you break one like he said because um, you're not gonna get that mercury out it's gonna be persistent um, so the question is what are our options um, do we stay with these when they're getting so hard to find um, most places are um, doing away with them rather quickly and in some cases I hear are on the road to banning them completely. So I'll put that in the box with the junk. Um, the question is what, what do you light with if you don't want to use the new standard way of lighting, the CFL bulb? Well, we went with um, LED technology. Um, this box is actually <clears throat> the box that we received all our uh, other bulbs in. It was chock full of these. We bought um, their CF or, um, LED bulbs. This one in particular has, let's see if I can put it in a little closer there, this one has 38 light emitting diodes, LED. These do not have filaments and an LED works um, when energy passes through it, through the diode, it emits a uh, kind of a light. Someone in the um, comment section below Anna Terrace video asked about um, the history in these in, in so many words. And these were actually discovered in uh, the mid-1920s and an article was written in 1927 in a Russian journal um, about the technology of the light being available from a diode. <clears throat> so, the question is, um, how well do these work in comparison to others? Everybody says, well, they're not very bright, they're, they're too white. These things actually come in a wide variety of styles and colors and sizes and shapes. Um, this is just your run-of-the-mill, standard, typical, cheapo, little um, LED light bulb replacement. Um, they have all different tips on them. As you can see here, um, I'm going to compare. This is a regular, old-fashioned um, filament light bulb. This is one of the new ones. It has the ident an identical tip on it. And 
um, it's known as an E27, Edison 27 tip, and uh, they fit standard in any, I brought one of these up from the tool room here, they fit in any standard um, light socket, and you know, I don't know if you have any of these in your cellar, and your ceiling, or your walls, or your garage, um, it, it just, it makes a great uh, spotlight because it comes straight down and it shoots down kind of, uh, you know, it doesn't go out to the sides like a regular light bulb does. Um, well, they have new ones now. I'll see if I can find you some pictures of them or, or link you some uh, before the end of the video um, that actually are shaped almost identical to these. Um, as far as the cylindrical shape, they have LEDs that go all around the outsides and at the bottom. So the light is actually going out in every direction as compared to the cheapest ones that you can get which basically just shines straight down straight down like a spotlight so um, there's all different kinds of um, varieties here this one is is 38 you can buy ones with like 20 LEDs 25 LEDs um, and those are comparable to like uh, 10 or 15 watt light bulbs these ones here are comparable to about a 20 25 watt um, light bulb that's if we're talking about the old kind. So when you're buying um, a light bulb LED replacement, you want to figure approximately um, what kind of bulb you used to use. Um, in a living room or something, you probably want like a 60 watt. In an overhead kitchen area, you'd want a 100 watt. Maybe, maybe in a refrigerator or over the stove light, you'd want a 40 watt. Um, you know, depending on the brightness. You also want to um, consider, do you want bright white light? Do you want natural light? Do you want soft warm? And that's when you get into the lumens and, um, you know, what the tone of the of the light is. And, it, you know, it's not any big science or anything, but um, there's some things to consider before you just run online and, and or go to a store and buy an LED light bulb. Um, this one here is about the cheapest you can get. It's equivalent to about 40 watts and it is a, a white light, very white. It's not a uh, soft warm or anything like that. Um, I, we do have some that are soft warm, but this one here in particular is um, uh, very white. Um, and I like it for um, hallways and closets, and we actually have um, a bedside lamp on either side of our uh, the master bedroom, and we have these in there, and when they're shining directly up uh, against the ceiling, which usually they're typically a light colored, uh, the ceilings, um, they really illuminate the room quite well. Um, so when we have these uh, little lamps on with the LED lights in them in our bedroom. Um, it, it's plenty for the bedroom, very nice. Um, as far as an overhead light though, looking down, um, I would not recommend this shape because it does not illuminate the room well. It only does like a, a, a cone um, coming straight down, um, as you can see the shape of these things. So that's something you want to consider um, is the location of, of the of the base that you're going to be putting it in is it going to be a lamp shining straight up or is it going to be an overhead coming straight down 